Welcome back fellow aviators to another video. This time we're going to be seeing a handful of interesting things play out as my friend Matt and I are approaching Cedar City, Utah. So we have a very hard time at first finding the airport. Then we have to contend with the winds which are right down the runway but 20 knots gusting the 30 knots so pretty heavy winds. And then the high density altitude 8200 feet on the density altitude. Now, I'm going to be interjecting here and there throughout this video to add a little bit of context. I hope you enjoy. So, here it goes. We're basically coming directly on midfield. Right. So, November 9th, actually November 4, 9 Charlie Golf. Cedar City's 12 o'clock, 1 0 miles. Still looking for 9 Charlie Golf. And we can switch over to uh, their advisory. Our 9 Charlie Golf, Roger Ritter, Service Terminus, Fox VFR for chance proof. 4 9 Charlie Golf, thanks. So weird how you do that. We have to say, like, we're taught to say everything back. Yeah, it's. plugs out the airway. Uh. Cedar City traffic, Skyhawk, 4 9 or Charlie Golf is 10 to the west. We're planning on making uh, right traffic, runway 20. Yeah, it's literally like right in front of us. Yeah, we'll be right uh, on top of it when we see it. What the hell? <laughs> it's just so confusing with all the farms. Yeah. And like stuff you'd usually use to to look for the airport. Reference. Yeah, like a clear field. There's a bunch of clear fields. I'm not lined up with it though. Oh, I've got it. Got it? I can see the void now. You got that, all those shiny, I don't know what they are. Buildings? But I think it's just beyond that. That's like the most oh, voided spot okay. in the middle of town. I'm assuming that's it. Yeah, because you could see eight, I think, this way, and the long one like this. Because okay. we're supposed to be coming in basically on the end of eight right now is how we're angled. Right. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm confident with heading that way. <laughs> Because to me, it looks like it was that. Is that on? Uh, I was monitoring earlier. Okay. Just to see if there was traffic in the area. Yeah, I see the runway now. Okay, yeah. One of the most difficult things to learn when you first start cross country flying is actually spotting the airport when you get there. So in this area, just a lot of fields, a lot of things that looked like airports, but they actually weren't. So it just takes some time to get used to what you're actually seeing and finding that airport in a vast expanse. Altimeter 3005. Remarks. Density altitude 8,200. Cedar City Regional Airport. Automated weather observation 2037 Zulu. Wind two zero zero at two zero. Peak gusts three two. Visibility one zero. Okay. Good. Yep. Cool. Uh, straight down the pipe. Bad. Probably a little gusties left and right seas. So we're looking for sixty six hundred for a pattern altitude. Sixty four hundred pattern altitude. Okay. Fifty six. 21 is uh oh so it's an 800 foot pattern yeah okay pattern altitude is a standardized altitude in which we approach the immediate airport area and again 150 feet wide 86 feet long 8600 feet long okay theater city traffic skyhawk Four nine or Charlie Golf. We're going to be entering our right forty five, right downwind for runway two zero, Cedar City. Skyhawk calling transmitting Salt Lake Center. Cedar City Center or Cedar City Skyhawk. Uh, four nine or Charlie Golf is making a right forty five downwind, runway two zero, Cedar City. I blame you, man. That's cool. Blame me. <laughs> <coughs> I just want to let everyone know it's all right that we're yeah. in our downwind. So we had that little bit of a mess up because Matt was switching the radios and I was making the radio calls without verifying what frequency we were on. All right, so we've got that little quarry right there at the end of the runway. Yep. 
some neighborhoods. Yeah, that might be a downdraft at the end of the runway there. When you go through pilot training, you do what are called ground reference maneuvers. And the reason you do those is for the traffic pattern. So while the wind is really blowing us off, we need to fly our ground track with a downwind, not necessarily just pointing our nose where we think the downwind is. Are you going for this? No, I'm entering the 45. Okay. Yeah. I, just, I was like, wait a second. Get more on top of the 45. Okay. We got altitude to lose as well. Yeah. I'm not trying to be on your shit. Out. No, 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 no. Yeah, I just it, it's good to know. Away and then, yeah, yeah, I'm not making a left base yeah. for zero two. <laughs> that would be foolish. We need up a lot of runway. <laughs> okay, landing on it on. Mixture, carb heat. Gas is on both. Undercarriage down lock, mixture prop, seat belt switches. Okay. Man, this feels awkward. Which part? All right, traffic? No, just feel, can you see it pushing us? Yeah. You said 6,400. Correct. 6,400. Why I've got my first notch of flaps. There we go. And I'm just going to do one more notch once we turn on final. Yep. Cedar City traffic, Skyhawk, 4 Niner Charlie Golf. Just about to be in the numbers 2 0 on the right downwind 2 0. So you've just seen us going through all of our pre-landing checklists and getting the aircraft all set up. Now, I just did one notch of flaps in the downwind. That's pretty usual for me. I'm going to end with only 20 degrees or two notches of flaps because as we turn final on a very gusty wind like this, there's a little bit too much extra lift if we have that last notch or two of flaps. Uh, Corey's going to drop us, I bet. So now we're coming around from downwind into base and very quickly it's going to be base into final which is our final approach on the runway this is the key point where you make the decision to make a stabilized approach so you're going to see where your energy is at you're going to see how the aircraft is positioned and this is the time to make those changes rather than later when it's too late now in this case we have that headwind which is making us go slower over the ground so we have a longer time to get that all figured out but we're on a nice stabilized approach now Everything is looking really good, and we're going right down to the target. Approach speed 70, 65? Uh, it's 65, yeah. More windy. Now, to land in heavy winds like this, you're probably going to need power unless we turn to much shorter base to final. But you can see me working the power a little bit, working the controls just a little bit. It's actually not as bumpy as we thought it was. And now, you're going to see me transition to the flare and landing, which is a little tricky. Like stop. Yeah. Get yeah. this flaps up. Like, freaking stop. And Cedar City, four nine or Charlie Golf are rolling out and taxi to the FBO. We're uh, gonna back taxi two six to Delta. Okay. Or correction to Alpha one. Good job. It's freaking windy. That sock just booming out. Is that it blowing us around? Yeah. Um. Cedar City traffic is Seabird 6, taxing to runway 20 via Charlie Delta Alpha. Charlie Delta Alpha. And Skyhawk, uh, 49 Charlie Golf on uh, Cedar City, we're just pulling off runway uh, 20. We're going to be back, back taxi on the on 26 and then we'll be to the ramp on delta uh, alpha one actually alpha one you told me delta didn't you yeah but then i corrected myself oh, okay yeah. see alpha one down there yeah sorry that's the input that i was trying to <laughs> do while you're talking <laughs> gosh man pretty gnarly like 
having to hold left brake a little bit to keep it aligned, believe it. Like wants the weather vane like nuts. Hear that stall warning go off? Yeah. Star <clears throat> up. Shoot, man, this is windy. Yeah. I mean, it's good for us for takeoff. Yeah, that's about it. The pain in the, oh, that's closed. Of course it is. Go all the way down to Alpha, that's closed too. Go to the apron, there's no apron. Uh, all the way down to Bravo. What can I turn here? Is that the FPL? Nope, it's not. So we gotta flip around and go to Delta. Right now? Yep. Unless we can, we can't get to the apron over there. Yeah, we gotta flip around. Sorry, there's no. Oh, I guess there is a note on there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, sure. Cessna 826, this is FBO. Yeah, help us out. We didn't know these uh, taxiways were closed down. Yeah, no, you're good. So just continue down 826. Um, and then you can get off down here at the end. And the whole ramp down here is open. However, our self serve is closed off. Do you need fuel? We do need fuel. Okay, if I could just have you park here, kind of in front of this Alpine plane, where this other guy's just about to leave, that'd be great. Uh, so in front of the King, uh, King Air? Can't. <laughs> you see where this blue truck is? Just come park right in front of it. He's right there. Okay, I got you. I don't know what an alpine plane is. Man, this taxing is nuts. Where are you moving to, bro? Oh, I think he's staying right there. Hopefully he's got some tie downs for us. Yeah. Crazy. No, thanks for letting me do that. Yeah. <laughs> Cedar traffic, T bridge six crossing eight two six at Delta. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on that bell to get notifications about future and upcoming videos. Give us a like if you like this. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't, and tell us why in the comments. Either way, good having you along. Keep flying safe. Would love to hear your questions. Until next time, as always, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.